Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome to The Distance. My name is Natalie Cabanas and I'm a CrossFit Level 1 trainer and this is Strength Training where we work on growing and developing, fine tuning our major muscle groups in our body so that we can get stronger when we're walking and we're running. If this is your first time with us, I want to give a special shout out to all of my new guests. Good morning, mom. Always great to have you. If you are one of my consistent um, viewers, like my mom every week, I just want to say welcome back. Um, thank you for your commitment, for your discipline, and for your consistency. I love to have you guys with me every single Monday. So thank you for always being with me. All right, before we start today, um, one thing I always like to encourage you guys to spread the love. So if you know somebody, um, take the little link that's in your browser and send it to a family member or a friend, somebody that you think that would benefit from this workout. Why not have them join us on this Monday morning? You guys know the drill by now. We're going to start off with a five-minute warm-up. We're going to do a five-minute demonstration. Today's workout is going to be 10 minutes, and then we'll do a five-minute cool-down with some announcements, and then I'll send you on your way so that you can be productive to start this week off. All right, okay, let's get started. I'm gonna turn up my music and I'll start my uh, stopwatch. You guys are gonna kick it off with a one minute jog. All right, here we go. And begin. Just jog in place. So if you got some space, go ahead and move around a little bit. This first minute is just to get you moving. You got it guys. Maybe you just rolled out of bed, put on the put on the video to be with us. It doesn't matter. Just use this minute to loosen things up a little bit. Next up, we're gonna go into some jumping jacks. 15 more seconds. Maybe speed it up this time. 10 seconds. All right. And three, two, one. Go ahead and give me 20 jumping jacks. Remember to Land nice and easy <clears throat> on your feet. That's halfway for me. Seven more. Good. All right, next up you've got 10 sit-ups. So take it to the ground. Feet firmly planted. Down. And up. <laughs> Four more for me. All right, next up, we've got five up-downs. So remember, an up-down is a burpee without the push-up. So you'll put those hands on the ground, feet straight back, bring them in, squeeze those glutes at the top. If that's too aggressive for you, you can do step-backs and step-ups. But give me five. Where we are just warming things up. So it's nice to take this a little slower if you need to. Really focus on getting that stretch. All right. After those five up downs, we're going to go back into our jumping jacks. So give me 20. Here we go.
All right. Oh, looks like I missed the next step of the planned warm up, but that those 20 jumping jacks work. We're gonna go back to 10 sit ups and then we're gonna do five burpees. So let's get on the ground, being friendly planted. Again, give me 10 sit ups. We wanna warm up our core to get us ready for today. Try to keep those feet firmly planted. Two more for me. After your steps, you have five burpees. So this time we're going all the way to the ground. Again, if you need to do step backs because we're just warming up, that is just fine. We want our chest all the way to the ground, push it back up, and stand it up. Since we're just warming up, I'm just gonna do step backs, step ups. Did a workout this weekend with one too many burpees. <laughs> so, while we're warming up, these step backs are great for me. All right, that is our warm up. Good job, guys. Catch your breath for a second. And we'll move on to our movement and demonstration portion of the class. All right, so today, if you have it, we're gonna need two dumbbells, or if you just have one, one will work. If you don't have a weight, you always know that you can go and get some glass jars or anything that's gonna have a little bit of weight to it, so maybe some water bottles or even some detergent, anything like that. So um, I'm gonna bring in my lovely assistant this morning to help demonstrate. Morning. Thank you for being here, Eduardo, my husband. Um, okay, so kind of exciting today. We're going to start off with a new movement that we haven't done yet, and it's called the single arm dumbbell clean. So, um, and what I was going to demonstrate for us, what we're going to do today is there's going to be 10 reps in the workout, and you're going to aim to do five on your right hand and then five on your left. So, what I was going to demonstrate for us, but the first thing you have to do in order to start is you have to deadlift that dumbbell up and get it into the starting position, which is going to be what is called the hang, which is pretty much by your hips. So from here, you're gonna start by shooting your back, your hips slightly back and bending those knees. And then similar to the kettlebell swing, you're gonna aggressively pop those hips to stand straight up. And when you do so, you're going to bring that dumbbell up to your shoulder. So Eduardo will demonstrate by doing a couple more. So notice his hips right here, he's snapping them aggressively and it's helping to bring that dumbbell up to his shoulder, his arm is pretty much just guiding it. So if you wanna demonstrate facing us one more time, there's two ways that you can do this. You can do it on your right hand side, or if you prefer, you could actually do it in between your legs. So that's just another option. Depends on what's more comfortable for you. So you'll do five on your right, and then in between the workout, you'll switch to the other side and do five on your left. All right. Two things to watch out for today would be, one, not necessarily completing the rep. So um, you notice when Eduardo was done with the rep, he's standing completely back up. So his legs are completely straight in this position. Sometimes people just stay in the dip and they never really finish the position. So you wanna make sure that you stand completely up. That's how you know that you finished a rep. Um, one other thing that you need to watch out for is just keeping your back nice and tight. So if you wanna to rotate to the side, and show them if you've lost your midline, what it would look like. So bend that back a little bit more. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so you wanna make sure that you don't do that, that you keep your back nice and tight to keep you guys safe, okay? All right, next up, um, you will, oh, well, if you haven't tried yet, go ahead and get, make sure that you pull, uh, pick up your dumbbell and you give me five on each side. 
Um, if you have a super heavy weight, you can just do three for right now, but either way, you wanna make sure that you practice before we start. Next up, we have our burpees. So just like we were doing in the warm up, remember that our burpee is chest to deck. So water up, you'll scoot back just a little bit. Um, quick reminder is that when you go down, you'll shoot your hands to the floor first. Those feet will go straight back. You'll make your body go all the way down to the ground. You'll push back up and then you'll jump those feet to where your hands are and jump. So that's the most advanced version. But again, if you need a scaling option, you could always do a step back. So hands down to the ground, take one step back, lower your body to the ground, back up, and then step back in and jump. There's another option. If um, the jump is too much for you, you can take that out um, and just do an up down instead. So if you wanna just demonstrate one up down real quick, so not adding the push up either. Yep, and then that's another option. So you choose what's good for you today. And then last but not least, our final movement today is gonna to be um, our air squats. So you guys again should be familiar with this by now um, and what I will demonstrate. So for an air squat, the first thing you're gonna do is shoot your hips straight back. Your knees are gonna track in line with your toes. Your chest is gonna stay up. You're gonna drive through those heels and you're gonna stand straight up and squeeze those glutes. So go ahead and give them a couple more. If you're looking to make this a little bit more difficult today, even though we are gonna do 20 reps if you haven't already peaked, um, you can always add a weight to it. So if you wanna grab one of your dumbbells, um, you can hold it in the front rack position that we should be familiar with by now. So just right where your chest is, elbows are in, but remember when you have that weight in your hands, go ahead and demonstrate. You wanna make sure that you keep your chest nice and tall. You don't wanna have your chest falling forward because now that you have a weight, <laughs> now you have a weight in your hands. So remember, chest nice and tall, that's another way to make it more difficult. If you're like, Coach Nat, what are you talking about? More difficult, this workout is gonna be hard enough for me, forget it. That's cool, you don't need to add anything in addition. So thank you, Eduardo, great demonstration, appreciate Bye, guys. it. All right, everybody, so we've got to the meat and potatoes of the part of the day. So today's workout is going to be a 10 minute EMOM. So EMOM is every minute on the minute, except I guess today is gonna be every two minutes. So not every single minute. It's gonna be every two minutes for five sets. We're gonna do 10 single arm dumbbell cleans, which we're gonna alternate five on right, five on the left. Then we're gonna do five burpees and then 20 air squats. So the goal is to get that amount of reps done in two minutes. Whatever we have left over, you can rest for, and then we'll start it up again um, in the second two minutes. So, um, okay, I think we're good to go. Make sure you got your equipment, set up your little area, let me get mine right, and then we will begin. All right, guys, we're ready to go. Remember, to give anything less than your best today for this workout would just be a waste of time. So we're here, let's do it, give me your best. I will kick things off, remember to start your watch if you got one. It's like you didn't do the workout if you didn't start your watch. Okay, I'll count us out in five seconds. Gotta get the jams, all right. Here we go. Kicking things off, 10 single arm dumbbell cleans. And three, two, one, go! Deadlift that dumbbell up. And one, two, three. Squeeze those glutes. Four, five. Switch arms. You notice I have my arm out to the side. It just helps me with balance. We just want to make sure that our hand is not using any other part of our body for support. All right, that's 10. On to my burpees. Five of those, 20 air squats. We're a minute in, so as long as we finish this, less than a minute, we'll have some rest. Ten for me, ten more. 
Keep it up, guys. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Good job. All right, so we're at a minute 36. So if you're done, you get to rest for a second. We'll start back up at two minutes. Man, I could feel this was gonna be a good one. Heart rate's up already. All right, so we've got seven seconds. Pick up that dumbbell, get ready. Three, two, one, and go. 10 cleans. Remember to squeeze these glutes, aggressively pop your hips. Keep that back nice and tight. Good job, guys. Go to your burpees, whatever version works for you. And then straight into your squats. Remember, feet should be about hip width apart. Send those hips straight back, chest is up. Driving through your heels. Nice and steady pace. Ten for me. Ten more. Remember guys, keep your weight in your heels. As runners, we love to do squats on our toes, but that is not the best form. I want to keep you guys safe. All right, 20 for me. We've got 30 seconds of rest. Back to it, that's two sets down. We've got three more. If you're looking for air, in through your nose, out through your mouth going to get more oxygen to your blood, which can actually in turn get more mental focus during a workout. Okay, we've got eight seconds. So go ahead and get that dumbbell ready. Five, here we go. Three, two, one, hang cleans. Go, go, go. If this feels awkward to you, <laughs> no worries. Usually when you first learn how to clean, not to be confused with vacuuming. Um, it is kind of weird and it takes some time to get used to it. All right, straight into those burpees. straight to those air squats. You got it guys, keep it up. Remember those knees should track in line with your toes. Chest is up. Sitting in those heels, hips straight back. Abs should be nice and tight. 10 for me, 10 more. guys 30 seconds left finish your set I believe in you you can do it so that was set number three we've got two more two more more than halfway through the workout yes such a great feeling all right we've got 10 seconds remember deep breath in through your nose out through your mouth we don't want any of that mouth breathing here we go three two one, and hang cleans. So I'm keeping my back tight. I'm snapping with my hips and shooting that dumbbell up to my shoulder. Rotate, five on one side, five on the other. 
my abs are nice and tight. If you came and punched me in the stomach right now, I wouldn't be able to feel it. <laughs> because my abs are so tight. <laughs> Straight to those burpees. Give me five. Pass your hips below parallel, below your knees. That's gonna be your full range of motion for your squat. Nine more for me. So you can see my hips are going below parallel. That's what you wanna aim for. There we go. All right. We got one more set left. Can you believe it? Yes. All right, we got 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Remember, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You guys are doing great. <clears throat> Let's make this last set our best one. Feel good about it. Feel confident. Really be intentional about what you're doing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Deadlift that dumbbell and cleans. Give me 10. When you're doing this, your heels should not be coming off the ground. So that's something to look out for. Because you're snapping in your hips, if your toes are, or your heels are coming up, you're losing all that power. So you want it to go straight to your hips. All right guys, burpees! Part of this workout for me with those burpees. <laughs> All right, we've got one minute left to do our 20 air squats. We can do this. Five for me. That's 10. 10 more. 45 seconds. We can do this. Almost there, guys. This is where you get stronger at the end of the workout when you're ready to be done. All right, that's it for me. I'll keep counting you down in case you need to finish. You've got 20 seconds. Don't give up, don't give up. Almost there, finish strong. 15 seconds. Push, push, push. If you want extra credit, you could be doing extra squats right now. You've got five seconds, here we go. And in three, two, one, you're done! Yes, good job guys. There is nothing better than starting your Monday off with a workout, right? Ugh, just feels so productive. Cool, let me stop my watch, maybe get a sip of water. Good job, good job. All right. I'll let you catch your breath for a second. <sighs> okay. Let's do a couple stretches just to cool us down. And then I'll let you guys go. Um, it is 825, just to keep you guys aware of the time. Um, all right. So first what we're going to do is a Samson stretch. So we're going to alternate. We'll do this two times on both legs. We step into a lunge, arms are over our head. If you can, go into that lunge, reach the same side of the leg that you have out in front of you. And back up, rotate to the other side, stretch, and back up. If you need to, grab whatever item is next to you and just try to go down 
in a lunge as far as you can and then rotate. Just wanna get that stretch in your glute. Good job, guys. All right, let's see. Just wanna thank you guys for joining us today. Um, remember to hydrate and remember to fuel yourself. So eat some breakfast, a good nutritional breakfast um, with some protein, some fr fruits and vegetables after you get done. Um, remember that you can always join my staff member, Justin Gaiman on Wednesdays. He um, does plyometrics workouts at 8 a.m. So feel free to join him. Um, you guys know that we always welcome feedback. So if you have any, send it to the distance at atlantatrackclub.org. Um, we want to know what you like, what you don't like, if you think we're missing something. Um, and again, you know, you can stay up to date on all the things the distance by following Atlanta Track Club on social media. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you joining me each and every week. Um, it wouldn't be the same without you for sure. Can't wait to see you next Monday. Um, got something special in store for you. So um, have a great week. Be productive and we'll see you next Monday. Thanks, guys.